Hi there, I'm Valerie with the Great Smoky Mountains Association. Come along with me for a drive on Balsam Mountain Road, one of the more secluded roads in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Balsam Mountain Road is located in the southeastern portion of Great Smoky Mountains National Park in North Carolina. This one-way road connects Hindtuger Ridge to a spot called Round Bottom, and although the sign identifies it this way, you'll find it on park maps as Balsam Mountain Road. Balsam Mountain Road is not suitable for large vehicles, but it's a good gravel road for regular passenger vehicles. The drive features a taste of backcountry adventure and an escape from the most visited areas of the park. Balsam Mountain Road is closed in the winter, but fall color, spring wildflowers, and its high elevation refuge from summer heat make it a three season attraction. To access the road, you'll first need to hop onto the Blue Ridge Parkway, just inside the Cherokee entrance to the park. On the parkway, you'll travel out of Great Smoky Mountains National Park and re-enter by way of Hindtuger Ridge Road. If you've never driven the Blue Ridge Parkway before, it's quite a treat. The Blue Ridge Parkway stretches across mountain ridges from here all the way to Shenandoah National Park in Virginia, 469 miles. Turning off of Blue Ridge Parkway at Wolf Laurel Gap puts me on to Hindtuger Ridge Road with its own stunning mountain overlooks, like this one called Mile High. Although it's 30 feet short of a mile, the view is nonetheless spectacular. The eight mile Hindtuger Ridge Road ends at Hindtuger Overlook. And here is where Balsam Mountain Road will lead you into the magnificent forest. When you travel down this road and into the lush forest, it's hard to imagine a time when this area was heavily logged, but it was not so many decades ago. The road itself was actually built on an old railroad bed. The railroad was used to transport timber down the mountain to sawmills where it would be turned into lumber. Much of this forest is second growth, but occasionally you may catch a glimpse of a giant tree that somehow eluded logging. This is a northern hardwood forest. These forests resemble northern forests from Pennsylvania to southern Ontario, Canada. Here deciduous trees like American beech and yellow birch dominate. You'll recognize yellow birch by its peeling bark. Some of the older specimens here are over 100 feet tall and close to five feet thick. Northern hardwood forests are the highest elevation deciduous forests in the eastern United States. They also have the most brilliant leaf colors in the fall. Here's a nice place to get a good view of the surrounding mountains. On a clear day, from this point you can see nearly 15 miles, all the way to Clingman's Dome and Charlie's Bunyan. Several trails are accessible from Balsam Mountain Road, including Spruce Mountain Trail, Palmer Creek Trail, and Balsam Mountain Trail. The road descends more rapidly toward Round Bottom and eventually becomes a narrow two-way road, then follows the gurgling straight fork back into civilization. A left at the road junction, and it's a short drive back to Cherokee on Big Cove Road. So I hope you've enjoyed this peek at Balsam Mountain Road. Maybe you'll come here for yourself and you'll discover many more reasons to love this quiet corner of the Great Smoky Mountains. 
If you'd like to know more about exploring the Smokies, pick up the Smokies Explorer Packet, which features two full color guidebooks and two handy maps that will guide you through park roads and destinations. The Smokies Explorer Packet is available at the GSMA website, www.smokiesinformation.org, or at visitor centers throughout the park.